Not the basketball that helped us with this moment. When I was a little kid, yeah, I was about four or so. I was in an orphanage. Oh, the basketball throw for the moment. Yes. You should have made it though. Plenty of kids, all with no parents. It was around the end of the Sorcerer's War, so I guess it couldn't be helped. Anyway, that's where I was. And out of all the kids there, one was very special to me. T. Irvy, want to play? I really like this girl, and it made me so happy just talking to her. Selfie, what you playing? Was that orphanage a stone house? You guessed it. An old house made of stone by the ocean. Quest, just be quiet. This is their moment. <laughs> Shh. You guessed it. I knew right away when we first met. Tell us! Because you two seem to have forgotten. It's both of them? Oh my gosh! No, I'm a sucker for we knew we got this since we were a kid. Lot plot lines. I love that stuff. Oh. It just kind of sucked that I was the only one who remembered. Spunky little Seffy and bossy little Quisty. Seffy, Seffy is so cute. <laughs> that is just so weird. Huh? Hey, do you guys remember setting up fireworks? That was... This way! Zell's there too? They said they took him in! Now Squall being like... Where are you guys? Oh my god, Squall, let's go! Wait, Squall, can we, can we like, ghosts see if children at the orphanage have any money? Or like any like draw points, just real quick. No! <gasps> There's me! Oh my god, he is here! What did they do to us? Why do we not? Wait, are all these child soldiers orphans? That's messed up. That makes sense though, because like what parent would be like, yes, you may go join that child soldier academy. What? What in the, this is getting dark. Sis. Ow. Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my gosh. Wait, let's go this way. Oh my gosh. What? Oh. 
Here I am again. Matwin! Sis isn't here! Matwin? Where's Sis? Matwin? That seems like, like a kid's name of pronouncing something. Matwin? Martin? 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 I don't know. Why ain't nobody, like, fixing up orphanages? Why we always got kids in these places? Like one here? Okay, maybe, maybe you go out this way? Where the kids went? Oh, there I am again. Sis, where'd you go? You don't like me anymore? What a shameful sight. Hey! Don't talk bad to yourself. Negative self-talk king. Okay. Uh, look at all the little kid shirts. They're so weird. They're so baby sized. Where do I go? How do I walk? This way? This way? Go this way? No. These painted backgrounds are so hard to move through. I'm only someone ignoring chat right now because I am so... Oh, maybe down this way, to the beach. France! How about this? Yeah! <laughs> the ocean, the lighthouse! We did set off fireworks. You guys, I'm really concerned. Why did none of us remember this? Yo! Wait, like little yo or like big yo? Yo! <laughs> Kids aren't supposed to play with fireworks. Little yo. The suspenders. I'm telling. I'm gonna tell on you. Cry, baby Zell. Go back to bed. If I remember this... Wait, if I remember this, does that mean I was there too? Wow, we're all here. <laughs> we all got in big trouble. Then... What about my parents and Balan? Who's your ma? The Dinks and Balan must have adopted you. What? Yep, that's probably it. I... was here? Yo, come on! Stop it! Motlin, help! Who's Motlin? Get out here. Motlin? that wait maybe we don't know it. no one tell me hold on i gonna put y'all in on email only for this because this is so important to me hold on nah, 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 nah. i wonder what they say in japanese for that so universal okay i was wrong <laughs> so that's not matt win though that's cypher so who's matt win stop teasing me cypher Ah, uh, Cypher was always a little prick. Okay, gotcha now. Oh my goodness. Cypher, mm, my arch enemy. Wow, he was there too. You guys, you you guys, why are we, are we freaking out? Well. Irvine, Irvine. Why were you the only one who remembered this? Cypher was there too. Except for Renoa. <laughs> we were all there. Well, that's probably only deepened Renoa's extreme FOMO. 
We're gonna do a- we're gonna play a song. Really? I'm so excited! Not you, Renoa. <laughs> I mean, they did have her do the whole, like, talk to Squall thing, but still, I'm laughing. Wow, I can't believe we all grew up in the same orphanage, Renoa. <gasps> Was either- maybe my dad isn't actually my dad either, you guys! No, that's your dad. No, it is, actually. You're not an orphan like us. Can't really. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That means Yeah I was there too I Sis I was always waiting for Sis to come back I'm all alone. Except for those four guys in there, five guys in there. But I don't like them. But I'm doing my best. And I'll be okay without you, sis. He was, in fact, not very okay. Actually. And I'll be able to take care of myself. <laughs> I didn't turn out okay at all. <laughs> I love this game! <sighs> I was like, he was in fact not okay. <laughs> uh, I just feel like I'm on the right wavelength with this game a lot. I appreciate the writer so much. This L. No! <gasps> Why doesn't he remember his own sister? That was our sister? What? L. Alone. So, Alone was sis. Where did she go? Did we get separated in the war? Is was I this age when she was with Laguna? Then who the clap clap is Laguna? And why can't Elone tell the some people back to the past? She was sis to everybody. Oneta. Sis was a bit older than us. And we all used to call her sis. Apparently he's the only one that missed her though. Christus, Zell, Selfie, Irvine, Cypher. Alone and myself. Not you, Renoa. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what the meaning behind all this is. We were definitely together. You mean, sis is Alone? She's the one that takes us back to Laguna's period. She said she wanted to change the past. I don't know why. There can only be one reason for that. What is it, Quistus? Tell me. She must not be happy with the present. Well, if that's the case, I'm definitely for helping her. She's part of the orphanage gang. Sorry, Renoa. You didn't even remember who she was. Hey, Selfie, that goes for you, too. More importantly, we all grew up in the same orphanage. Why am I the only one with the southern accent? Or is it western? I'm not quite sure. Hmm. It's pretty scary. We've forgotten all these things. Ah. <sighs> So, Ma and Pa aren't my real parents. I wonder where the orphanage is. Hmm. So, Sis was alone, eh, huh? You remembered Selfie and Quistas, but not alone, eh? That's kind of weird. 
Everyone was fond of sis but you, Squall. You kept hogging her for yourself. Doesn't that mean he was also fond of her? You sure have a good memory. This is really strange. I don't think I was adopted because of the way I... <laughs> Introspective king. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I wasn't adopted. Based on my current personality issues. <laughs> and, and severe fear of abandonment. <laughs> I probably didn't have anything good after this. Also, welcome in! Welcome in, bad welcome in, queen. Probably the same with Cypher, too. Wait, probably the same with Cypher, too. You two must have been at Garden by the age of five or so. Even so, he's never mentioned anything about growing up in an orphanage. Neither have you! And nothing about this has ever crossed my mind when I see him, either. Don't you find that odd? It's very odd, you guys. Who wiped our memories? I'm really wondering right now. How did we not know? Welcome in! Thank you so much for that subscription! That is strange. In my case, I had loads and loads of fun after going to Travia. That's probably why I forgot all about my childhood. Mm, that's what I think. That's not how memory works, but maybe. You were pretty young. But I don't know what's up with you guys. <laughs> it's so odd you would forget in between the lines <laughs> because your life was like so miserable and all. <laughs> Freaking selfie. <laughs> I mean, you guys obviously didn't have any fun, so you should remember. <laughs> I remember. Yes, I remember now. Things didn't work out too well at my new home. So I came to Garden at the age of 10. That was when I first noticed Cypher and Squall. Cypher and Squall were always fighting. Yeah. Quistus used to always break us up. Yes, that's right. Cypher was a kid who always needed to be the center of attention. But Squall always used to ignore him. But eventually, they would end up fighting. Squall could have easily walked away from it, but always took up the challenge. He should have just ignored him, but Squall, almost, almost in tears, would say, I gotta do my best by myself, or else I won't be able to see Sis. I guess I was trying to take Sis, I mean, Elone's place. So you say, after you notice that you don't have a chance no more. I was actually just trying to be your big sister figure. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> okay, Christy. I tried, but to no avail. That's probably it. Yeah. Even after becoming an instructor, I couldn't stop thinking about Squall. Oh, we just we just here with our confessions. Should we set a bonfire and call this truth or dare? We're just, we're letting it all out. Okay. I thought it was love. I mean, I had to hide my feelings because I was an instructor. But I've come to realize it wasn't. That's good, Quistus. <laughs> I know y'all are only like a year apart. But thanks for that. This tea is so hot right now. It was my childhood feelings as a big sister that lingered. You know, this kind of reminds me of, it kind of reminds me of when he was like, when Jacob was like, Bella, I didn't actually love you. I actually loved your unborn fetus. <laughs> your unborn child. 
is what attracted me to you. <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> Maybe a little less extreme, but still. I wasn't in love with you. I was only obsessed with you because of my suppressed memories of how we were childhood friends. Right. <laughs> okay. That's good, Quistus. I'm glad. Uh, I feel like everybody in this group right now is like, that's great, Quistus. Nobody actually asked about that specifically, but I'm glad you got that off your chest and you feel better. Oh, well. <laughs> and then she runs away. <laughs> child anyways so yo this is getting out of hand <laughs> we're forgetting way too much hmm i can't remember the orphanage was located hmm hmm, hmm. go talk to quistus seems like she was shocked well, she offered up all that information on her own. This wasn't like three confessions. A misunderstood love? I mean, like, I do was... I hope Squall realizes that she kind of just legit said, like... I thought I've been in love with you for... Well, she said she got to the garden when she was 10? And she's, what, now, like, 18, 19? So does she think she's had, like, this almost, like, decade-long love only to find out that it probably wasn't love? Not only did she think it was love, she thought it was, like, some legit forbidden love, too. She was like, oh, my God, I'm a teacher and I have a crush on my student love. Like, not for the whole 10 years. She obviously wasn't a teacher when she was 10, but still. Wow, and he wasn't giving her the time of day either. Oof, unrequited love with Squall? Sounds rough. Sounds rough. You know, when this keeps happening, I feel like, like really proud of myself and the game. Like the game is patting me on the back saying, you get it, you're paying attention. You're paying attention, girly pop, good job. Actually, I'd completely given up when Renoa came into the picture. Hey! <laughs> it must be the same for Cypher. What's the same for Cypher? Cypher was also in love with Squall? What? Oh, <laughs> oh that too. <laughs> I'm sure Cypher's forgotten his childhood too. <laughs> I was like, that's why he picked on him? Schoolboy love? <laughs> I bet. I, I jumped to conclusions there. But whenever he sees Squall, his inner feelings start to boil and... Is that why he's always picking fights with Squall? <laughs> I did get real excited. Why is it that we forgot? We grew up together as kids? How's that possible? How about this? The price we pay for using the girlfriends. Continue. The girlfriends provide us with power. But the girlfriend makes its own place inside our brain. That's what you're saying. That the area is where our memories are stored? No, that's just a rumor that the girlfriend critics are spreading. So, if we keep relying on the girlfriends, we won't be able to remember a lot of things? But we haven't been using the girlfriends for that long. We weren't using them since we were, like, little kids. But I guess if you lost your memory, you don't remember when you stopped remembering. We could have forgotten recently. Because, like, what, our first girlfriend was a freak, right? Our low-level girlfriend? I mean, Quistus would have been a bit longer than that. 
There's no way Headmaster Sid would allow such a dangerous thing. That incompetent man? Yes, he would. He absolutely would. Then how is it that I remember while everyone else is forgotten? Well? Right. Is this the game's way of saying that Irvine is extremely single? He has no girlfriend. That's why his memory is so good. In my case, I haven't junctioned a girlfriend until recently. That's why I remember a lot more than you guys. How about you, Selfie? Your first experience with the girlfriend was when you came to Balam Garden, right? Yeah. Oh my god, someone take the tea off of the stove, it's boiling! We gave up our memories in exchange for power. Is it because of the girlfriends that we forget? Is that why other forces refrain from using girlfriends? I have a confession to make. More confessions? Oh my gosh, y'all. When I was 12, I went on an outdoor training mission. I found a girlfriend inside one of the monsters I defeated. It's a weird way to say it, but that's true. I junctioned that girlfriend for a while, so I have experience with girlfriends too. But, but it's really weird. I can't remember the name of that girlfriend. It must be the girlfriend's fault. What should we do? What should we do? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? What do you want to do? You want to stop using girlfriends now? As long as we continue fighting, we're indebted to the powers of the girlfriends. Calling them girlfriends is really starting to catch up to me here. <laughs> if there's a price I have to pay for that, I'll gladly pay it. Hey, I know. Let's keep a diary. That way, we'll always have something to remind us. I'll have 50 for its dates. Are you sure that's what you want? Maybe that's for the best. Yeah. I don't care if I, used to for if I forget about my childhood when Cypher used to pick on me. What's important to me now is having the power to protect my parents and Balam. They adopted me. There's no way I'm letting go of that power. Hey. Do you think Renoa feels left out from this conversation? She's like, not even here. <laughs> Do you all remember Matron? Maybe that's, maybe that's what Ma Ma Martin is for the, for the kids. Matron. Who was running the orphanage? She was, she was always wearing black. Matron dressed in black. Let's see. Oh, oh, who is that? Long black hair, who this? Let's see. I see a resemblance. Matron, they look like Wait, I just pictured her face and... Very kind, long black hair. Yes, I really admired her. Look like, nah, that's not it. Matron's name was Adia Kramer. Sid? Y'all ran an orphanage and turned it into a school of child soldiers? That's messed up. That's exploitation of children, by the way. But anyway, oh my gosh! Also, should be she be having that bus down for a while. She be having that bus down for a while.
So she divorced Sid, and as soon as she divorced Sid, she started living her best fashion life. I bet you she got divorced. They signed them papers. They're not actually divorced, but they got separated, and she was like, I'm going to go get a weave immediately. And they're like, how long? She goes, how long can you make it? <laughs> and they're like, girl, let me tell you. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Matron is sorceress a deer. Matron? Sorceress Adia? Why is the matron? Why? You're wondering why matron would take over a country or file or fire missiles and whatnot? At this point, you probably wouldn't comprehend even if we talked about it. You're probably right. Next thing I'm gonna say is you're gonna say Renoa is like Sid's child. Don't do this to me. Hear me out. Seed and garden were all Matron's idea, right? Yeah. I'm not a seed, but I share the same feeling with all of you. Seeds are supposed to fight the sorceress, right? Right? If she made up Seed, why is she torturing Cloud asking what is Seed for? Wait, how long has, Adi has Ad Adia been using the girlfriends too? Did Adia forget about her husband in the pursuit of girlfriends? This is strange. That's right. It was when I was being tortured by Cypher. He wanted to know what seed was, y'all. I can't get off the same wavelength as this game! Oh my god, every time I think of the next question, the game is like, we're getting there. We're getting there. Matron should know. But Matron is Sorceress Adia, there's no denying that. What does it all mean? Squall, you listening? So, Lack, this is what I wanted to say. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I understand what Renault is saying. I understand. But I'm still gonna fight. Okay, I feel like we're changing subjects all of a sudden, Irvine. I want to stay true to everything I've stood for. I'm sure it's the same for everyone. That's why I thought it'd be best if everyone knew we'd have to face Matron. So he just remembered this whole thing this whole time. <gasps> Is that why he couldn't shoot her? Says that next, I'm gonna die. You've all heard this before. We have? How life has infinite possibilities. Oh, that part, yeah, okay, yeah, sure. I don't believe that one bit. So, like, is she trying to turn back time? Because we're in this, like, crazy, horrible timeline where we have to, like, kill the woman who, like, took care of us in the orphanage after the war? But if she's the sorceress, I thought the war was with the sorceress. If the war was with the sorceress, why is the sor sorceress running the orphanage? I can't keep up! Oh my gosh! <laughs> there weren't many paths for me to choose. Sometimes, there would only be one. From the limited possibilities I've faced, the choices I've made have brought me this far. That's why I value the path I chose. I want to hold true to the path that had to be taken. I know our opponent is the Matron, whom we all love very much. We might lose something very important on account of the girlfriends, but I don't mind. It's not like I drifted here on the tides of fate. 
Dang, or find speech on him. I'm here because I chose to be here. And more importantly, we all grew up together. But due to various circumstances, we were all separated. As a kid, you couldn't really go out on your own. There were no other paths to take. All I did was just cry. But... But somehow, we're together again. Just like old times, though a lot has changed. We're not kids anymore. We're strong enough to take care of ourselves. Make our own decisions. We're confronting a big one right now. Do we fight Matron or not? I say we fight. Shoot for a common goal. Hey, at least it'll keep us together a little longer. Yeah, let's do it. We can't run from it for the rest of our lives. It's just a bummer. I can't believe we have to fight Matron. I know, but Zell's right. We can't run from her forever. Renoa. You're still here. <laughs> Sorry. 